Good morning, I'm Nicholas Bezik. I'm the Head of Concepts Development in General Dynamics UK and I provide the focus for in-house military user expertise. We have here today um, prototypes of the equipment that we're providing under the latest uh, Bowman upgrade program, uh, which is on contract and will be delivering over the next four years. That's called BSIP 5.6. Uh, you'll see on the tables behind me uh, the new uh, user data terminals, computer terminals which we're providing. Uh, you can see that these are ruggedized commercial off-the-self equipments uh, which will be very familiar to uh, our user community uh, in their day jobs. Uh, a particular note uh, in the center here is the, uh, the tablet uh, which is designed for the dismounted user. Uh, obviously uh, far more appropriate for the dismounted soldier uh, than the equipment that's been provided previously. Uh, not only is the, the look and feel of these computers uh, much improved, also their performance is greatly improved, so they'll be greatly uh, faster uh, and more capable uh, to support the user in doing the various jobs that he needs them to do for him. And then you'll see on the computer screens um, behind me and to my right um, the uh, some of the new battle management tools. So part of BSIP 5.6 is um, the upgrade and modularization of the combat battle management application. And this is extremely important for the users because we're giving the application a new user interface so that it's much more uh, in line with um, for example, everyday office products that he'll have in barracks, and therefore we reduce the training burden because the general way in which it operates will be much more familiar. And it's been designed and developed in close construct with the users so that uh, it undertakes the various things that they need it to do in developing uh, mission plans and then supporting mission execution. And for example, what you see on the screen here um, is a view um, of the um, Milbrook Proving Ground uh, with various hypothetical military units um, shown in the symbology. Uh, this is the uh, platform BISA view and this is the view that the crew in armoured fighting vehicles will get um, so that the other information which is normally available is hidden in this case so that they've got maximum screen showing what is going on around them, improves their situation awareness, and they can access the other functions of the applications through the buttons that are around the outside. Also here um, on the table is something which we've developed um, in conjunction with um, a small company called Extreme Cases, uh, and this is an example of a uh, process that we have for bringing in third parties with innovative ideas um, to enhance capabilities for the user. And what this enables the users to do is by connecting a Bowman terminal here to the Epson projector, and that's a bog standard uh, projector, but it's in a smart box so that it can be taken out into the field, is to provide an interactive display which you see on the table. And this is what the users call an electronic bird table. And so that would enable, for example, a battle group or a company commander and his team to view what is going on and as appropriate to uh, d develop a plan. And you have here an interactive pen so that you can either interrogate symbols or with a different mode you can draw on the map and create a plan or a schematic on the table. When the commander's happy, that is saved back as part of the battle management um, products and can then be disseminated over the Bowman network as orders to his subordinates. So we have there a very flexible tool for quickly uh, getting information and orders out to the troops on the ground. So potentially a big, big step forward. And that's something which, if the users want it, they can go and buy those uh, from extreme cases and they just plug into the Bowman network with, without any, any more integration. Now I'd like to move on to this side of the tent and uh, talk about the demonstration that we're showing here at DVD today. What we've done is to mount a video camera uh, onto uh, one of our vehicles out the front 
Um, it's parked up at the moment, as you can see, so that is a live view uh, from the front of our stand. And we've integrated the camera with a um, 4G network, uh, which is sending that information securely by 4G uh, to Airbus at Stevenage. Uh, once it gets to Airbus, it's then integrated into their SATCOM network, so it's going up to a satellite from Stevenage and then back down to a satellite receiver, uh, which is outside the tent. So although the information is being generated locally, it's actually going over a satellite link. The significance of this is that it supports the Army's strike brigade concept where you may have Ajax vehicles operating at beyond line of sight distances um, from other supporting troops. And what that means is that the current generation of Bowman radios uh, will be out of range and therefore the commander will not get the benefit of the sensors that are on Ajax to understand what's going on in that area. So by providing a means of linking in SATCOM in the way that we're demonstrating here, we can actually deliver high bandwidth beyond line of sight capability to enable the strike brigade concept to work.